Hey everyone, I'm Hoop Smiles, and many of you out there may be aware of what happens if you mix some Coca-Cola products with Mentos candy, like I did in the footage right there. Sometimes you can get these huge Coca-Cola geysers that just shoot upward. So basically in this video today, I'm gonna mix some Coke Zero with some Mentos and then strap it to a hoop, which many of you may refer to as a hula hoop. But yes, I'm gonna give it a spin around my body and let's see what happens. Also this video, is part of a series called What Can I Mount to a Hoop? In the last episode, I mounted dry ice and hot water to a hoop and then spun it around, which some of you may have seen. If you haven't, I definitely recommend checking it out. Now, if you're interested in making some suggestions of what I can mount to a hoop, go down to the comments section of this video and tell me your ideas. What do you want to see me put on a hoop and then spin it around? Now back to Coke and Mentos mounted to a hoop. But before the first experiment, how does the reaction between Coke and Mentos even work? According to epbird.com, many scientists have said that the reaction between Mentos and Coke is caused through a process called nucleation. The carbon dioxide squeezed into a liquid soda is drawn towards tiny bumps that it can grab onto. Those tiny bumps, referred to as nucleation sites, are areas where the gas can grab onto, forming bubbles. Mentos is sprayed with over 40 microscopic layers of liquid sugar, making it super sweet and also covered in a bunch of nucleation sites. Since Mentos is covered with so many microscopic nooks and crannies on the surface of a Mentos, as epbird.com would say, that a huge number of bubbles can form if dropped into a soda. Also, since Mentos are heavy enough to sink in soda, the reaction can take place all the way to the bottom, creating massive amounts of foam. All those foaming bubbles need to go someplace, oftentimes creating a dramatic reaction. So one of the things about this experiment is as you can see, this whole thing happens really, really fast. So how can I mount the Coke and the Mentos to a hoop and have the reaction happen while the hoop is spinning? Experiment number one. In the first Coke versus Mentos attempt, I've attached these plastic Tupperware containers to a hoop, and in each container, I add some Coke Zero along with little bowls full of Mentos candies that float on top of the Coke. After sealing up and securing tightly each container to my hoop, I will give the hoop a spin. Hopefully spinning the hoop will provide enough force to flip over the floating bowls of Mentos, causing the Coke Mentos reaction to occur while the hoop is spinning. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut now to the real experiment and give that Coke Mentos hoop a spin. All right, here we go. This might be a bad idea, but let's do it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, can't tell if much is happening. Whoa, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there. As you saw in that footage, not the biggest reaction in the world. It definitely wasn't this. So my question is, how do I get this, this reaction, this kind of geyser to occur while the hoop is spinning? So let's go on to the next experiment. Experiment number two. In this experiment, instead of plastic containers, I strapped three two liter Coke bottles to a hoop. On each bottle, I screwed on these Coke geyser tubes. Then I hot glued a bunch of Mentos together with a string at the end to lower into the tubes to drop into the Coke. So hopefully when I release the strings, the Mentos will fall into the Coke bottles, creating big geysers while the hoop is spinning. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. I got the stringed up Mentos attached to this hoop and let's give it a spin and see what happens. Oh, Coca-Cola Mentos hoop, you failed me. All right, so I thought I had it that time with the strings attached to the Mentos going into the Coke bottles, but totally underperformed. So in this next experiment, I got the two liter Coke bottles attached to the hoop, but this time I'm gonna have some people help me out and they're gonna pull the tabs on those tubes so that those Mentos fall into those Coke bottles and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go. I got some people to help me and on the count of three pull, we're going to do this. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. Here we go. So this is the real one. One, two, three, pull. Ah. Woo! 
Okay, that was probably the most successful of all the experiments so far with the Coke and Mentos. What did you guys think about that Coke and Mentos mounted to a hoop? Also, go down to the comments section and please tell me your ideas of what you want to see me mount to a hoop. And yes, the comment that gets the most likes, I may actually consider your idea and do that for a future video. And if you want to watch more videos from this series, What Can I Mount to a Hoop? You may be even able to click on some of the icons on the screens to check out those videos. But please subscribe and thank you everybody for watching. Until next time, enjoy.